Here we are in chapter 5, review 1, with the exercises 2 through 8. Number 2, identify the greatest common factor. So not just anything that's common, but the greatest common factor between the terms. Ooh, this is hard. 112, 148, and 246. I'm going to have to use the prime factorization of this. 2 and 56, 2 and 28, uh, 2 and 14, 2 and 7. This is 2, 2, 2, 2, 7. All right, at 148, that's 2 and 74. That's 2 and 37. That's as far as we get there. And then 246 is 2 and 123. Uh, that looks like 3 and 41. Oh, shoot. So what is common? We have a 2 that's common amongst all of them. Uh, do we have anything else? No, we don't even have a second 2. So the greatest common factor is the number 2. All right, number 3. Let's see if there is anything common with a 3, a 5. Mm, I'm not getting any numbers, but a j. Uh, we have a j squared and a j squared. That guy has a j squared and another j, a j squared and another j. So it looks like j squared is the common thing that is as large as you can get in everything. All right, number four. Ooh, let's do the numbers first. 12, 24, and 30. Let's double check that we're right here. This is six and two, three and two. Uh, 24 is two times 12, uh, six times two, and two times three. And then 30 is six times five, two times three. So what's common? There's a two everywhere. Um, looks like there's a three everywhere. And is there a second two everywhere? No, this one doesn't have it. So a two and a three are as big as we can get that are in everything. So the greatest common factor will be six. Now let's look at the M's. There's four here, three there, and three there. So the biggest we can get that is in everything is M cubed. Uh, N, let me see, there's an N squared n cubed and n squared. So the biggest we can get that's everywhere is n squared because, yeah, that's an n cubed, but this guy doesn't have three n's. And then the p's, p to the fourth, p to the fourth, and p to the fifth. That's p to the fourth. So that is the largest that is in all of them. Number five, factor the following by grouping. Grouping is where we do the chainsaw. So chainsaw that guy. Right here we factor out, let me see, we can pull out a uh, 2 and x squared. And what are we left with? 3x plus 5. All right, what can we pull out of the next part? Certainly that plus sign. There's nothing that we can really pull out of there. So if you want to, we can write a 1 there. That'll help us to identify what's really going on with the 3x plus 5. And then we can now zoom out and out of the whole thing, we see the 3x plus 5 happens in both places. 3x plus 5 and uh, that leaves the 2x squared and the plus 1. Excellent. Number 6. Um, again, grouping, so we're chainsawing. So this is, what can we pull out of here? That is looks like a 7x squared. And uh, what is that? That's 3x minus 2. All right, what can we pull out of the second half? We'll certainly pull out that minus sign. And it looks like a 4. Yeah, there we go. And what are we left with then? Uh, 4 comes out of a 12. That's a 3x and then pull a negative 4 out of a positive 8, and we're left with a negative 2. And that 3x minus 2. And then what we have left there is 7x squared minus 4. Oh, good. Okay, so now um, number 7. We're in grouping. Chainsaw. So what can we pull out of the first half? We can pull out a 5, an A, and x, let me see, you got three of them there, two of them there, so squared. And what are we left with here? That is uh, x, just an x, plus um, 4a, that'll make a squared, and then the x squared, okay? Um, and then we can pull out a plus, 
And what can we pull out of there? Just a 3, I think. And we're left with x plus 4a. So we pull the x plus 4a out. And we're left with the 5ax squared plus 3. Excellent. OK, and the last one. Do that little cut down right there. What can we pull out of the first half? It's a 7 and an x. And we're left with 4 plus x squared. And what are we left with over here? What can we pull out? Nothing, really, a 4 and an x squared. So we can pull out a 1 so we it's clear what's going on. Uh, 4 plus x squared. And then that gives us 4 plus x squared. And the what's left is the 7x and the plus 1. Excellent.